my dear nation of Ukraine, our highly respected guests, dear citizens of Ukraine, dear Khrushchev in Maidan, today Ukraine is free and independent. We have shrugged off the heavy load of the past. No longer will someone tell us how we should live and for whom we should vote. For the first time in the history of independent Ukraine, the newly elected president, Viktor Yushchenko, swore himself into office with crowds of people as witnesses, just as in the times of Hetman Republic. And again, we came to Maidan to see the grand was inauguration of our hope. Now we are right now in the ceremony of the inauguration of the president, of the new president, the democratic uh, president, uh, Viktor Yushchenko. We are right now in the ceremony of the inauguration. We have half a, half a million people present here in this school. And of course, the church is right in the center of this whole event. And all over this uh, square, when you look around, you see all different kinds of flags. And we just want to say, uh, freedom has overcome. Glory to God. Thank to God and thanks to every man of goodwill that supported us from all over the world. For nine years, Sunday Adelaja, a resident of Ukraine, was persecuted and threatened with deportation for raising the Embassy of God Christian community. Having passed through the threat of government ministries, numerous court cases and libel from the press, he continued to love everyone, grandmothers, teenagers, homeless, intelligent, drunkards, businessmen, losers and politicians. You and I are the only ones building a future home here. Love will win because love always wins. The members of the Embassy of God Christian community as conscientious citizens of Ukraine were partaking in the events of the revolution. I was a member of the supervisory committee in Dijins. I was the head of guard of Yushinka's headquarters. I was cooking for them and bringing them food every day. I was a supervisor for Yushinka's side. I prayed for the people. I served as a doctor there. I was feeding the people. It was all joy, it wasn't force. Faith is the basis of any material success. It and it means that our faith and the faith of our relatives is not necessary for God, but it is necessary for mankind and our society. It means that you and I will have a moral core in our lives. Somebody wanted to deprive us of the right to choose. They wanted to vote instead of us. And through this still be called a democratic state. But it is impossible. Only democracy is protecting the most important things for man. His family, his children, peace, comfort, work and prosperity. A man without a dream is like a bird without wings. To dream and to be moved by some idea is a necessity for everyone. And I firmly believe that the words I spoke when I came into politics for the first time, which are, Ukraine won't get up from its knees until it kneels before the Lord. I believe in these words. I believe this will happen in our country. Ukraine forces the world to pay attention. There is a lot of talk about our singer, Ruslana who won the Eurovision Song Contest. So God is doing something here. It was not the money or the sponsors or the mighty protectors which has brought success to Ruslana, but her professionalism and her love for her land, which was poured out through her during her wild dance, which has charmed the whole world.
Thank you all. Thank you, Ukraine. I thank God that he has decided our destiny and we are happy and independent now. And my heart is filled with joy today because I have never before had so much hope for my country. We are with you. We are together. And now we are going to see a unique future. Yemeni, Carpathian Street. Horse is chosen. The pilot and the captain are in place. Have a good journey. No one doubts that it will be difficult and at times dangerous, but now everybody can dream and believe that those dreams will come true and reach their completion by faith. This is what my dad has taught us. Glory to you, God. All glory to you. 